Evan Tanner. Evan is 7 and 1 from Gresham, Oregon. His only loss is the UFC champion Tito Ortiz. He's very dangerous with knees, elbows, and submissions. He was the first foreigner to win the Pancrase New Blood Tournament. One of the things that uh, still amazes me about Evan, uh, for those of you that don't know this, he was first, he, he was introduced to the sport and learned it by tapes. He was self taught. And now he trains with uh, former UFC heavyweight champion uh, Randy Couture. See you back, Evan. My name is Bobby Razak. I'm in Brawley, California, uh, getting ready to do the Evan Tanner hike. Uh, super crazy nervous last night. Uh, felt like my back seized while I was uh, while I was sleeping. But uh, anyway, I'm here with the maestro here, Jeff Green. <laughs> uh, what's our journey right now? It's uh, 7:20. Where are we going now? We're heading out east of town on Highway 78. This will be the same path that he took leaving uh, from Oceanside. He would have come through our town and the highway we're driving on is the same path he was taken on his motorcycle when he came down here. And we'll turn off the highway onto a, a dirt road, a gravel road, and then get up to where his campsite was. And that would be, we're basically retracing his, his, his track right now his path. Jeff, so we just went down Melapitas Wash, correct? Correct. We're, uh, it's a gravel, rainy gravel road back up into the uh, into the mountains. This is the first road and then um, we'll take another trail off of this one that'll lead up to base camp. Jeff, can you tell us where we are right now? Right out here is where his base camp was set up. This is where his, his cot was set up, his bike was located. Um, he just basically took water with him, um, uh, some kind of backpack to carry it with, and uh, that was pretty much it. Where is our next uh, movement head, Jeff? Yeah, we're going to drop back into this wash that we just climbed out of. Right. This, this is like a little level plateau above the wash line. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to take this wash up to that far mountain. Got it. Right there. I feel what you're saying about the sand. Definitely like, like almost like walking in a beach, isn't it? Uh -huh. I think in this is just, you were wanting to know about why he went off to different points. Right. Because when you're down here, you need like point of reference and stuff. Got it. So we're kind of contained around here. Yeah. So you kind of pop up just to see and your GPS is going to record that. So ah, you know, got it. There were a lot of blank spots in his, in his track log. So he had it. You gotta have the antenna facing up. So if he had it in his backpack or shirt. Got it. Something where the antenna didn't get signal, and then you're gonna get a pinpoint and a pinpoint, and then you connect the dots. Ah, uh, got it. This X right here, right there. That was one of the farthest south points on his return trip. Got so it. it's just up over this little rise here. Copy that. Maybe less than a quarter mile. So he was, at one point, he was almost back to his campsite, but that Why was in coming the, here. that was in his that was in his return, where he was um, in the total grasp of dehydration. Got it. Where he he didn't know disorientation, confusion because of the dehydration, what it, the effects it has on his mind. So he was close to his camp, but couldn't quite make it there. Yeah. We run into it all the time with search and rescue. People rely upon their car GPS. Right. And they'll end up out in the middle of the desert someplace 
because the GPS told me to go that way. I've noticed the terrain has become a little bit more difficult, Jeff. Yeah. What's going on now with the terrain? And Is we're it? climbing an elevation. Too. I could feel the elevation actually. What's that elevation right now? Uh, could you feel it too, Jeff? Oh yeah. yeah mm -hmm. you feel it in your your lung, your breathing. It's like harder to get a gasp of breath. Yeah. So I can imagine Evan dealing with elevation in 120 degrees. That was like a We're perfect at a storm. 1037. And climbing up. Yeah, and climbing. So I guess you can kind of see now the terrain that Evan was uh, kind of climbing through. It's very steep, rocky. I mean, one mile climbing up here is like four miles somewhere else. Yeah especially with 120 degree heat. We kind of climbed up a little bit. We get like a really kind of overhead view, Jeff. Beautiful, huh? Yep. Very rugged. It takes a toll out of you, just the uh, energy. Yeah. Even, even on a, you know, a good day, um, it's going to take a toll on, on your body. Really? It makes you really understand what was going on now, you know? Like, you know, it wasn't a simple hike. Uh, it was tough, it was rugged, it was hot. I guess when the water depletion was going on, I mean, it would have been a really, you know, tough time even navigating this. Everything kind of looks the same at this point, you know? Especially if the GPS, you know, you can't read it, you're dehydrated, right, Jeff? Right, right, definitely. You, your mind doesn't have a, the, thinking capacity anymore it it gives you a false false ideas so it looks like he got he kind of got off trail or off track came up and then decided he needed to get back on track and go back to the so he may have got lost even going to Clap springs yeah, correct yeah. and that can be just because taking a not knowing the area taking a one wash over a, a split a y right taking a left instead of a right and that's by following a GPS. And they're very slippery too, because a rock, if you yeah. see the rock, it's yeah, they're very... loose gravel a lot too, I'm yeah. feeling on my boot, you know? For sure. Jeff, at 120 degrees heat, this must have been very savage, right? Yeah. Time frame, he left his camp at 7.30, so up here, it's already taken us uh, just at an hour to hike to this point. Uh -huh. So if he had been here at 8.30, it would have been in the, uh, probably the, low to mid 100s like 103 105 all right we'll push on we're gonna climb up here now steep wish us luck okay that was scary i was scared jeff thank you man keeping me safe you know the, the issue with this is the rock even though it's connected to a mountain um uh, it's super gravelly super soft so even though it's like connected mount a mountain the moment you grab the rock start peeling away because I, you know, fell down earlier, and so that was the, that's the big learning curve when you when you're here in, you know, Imperial County. The rock is not what it seems, right, Jeff? Yep. Yeah. So you might see it attached to a mountain. It might look strong, but the moment you touch it, uh, it will crumble. Jeff, what are your thoughts at this particular moment? <laughs> you don't want to record it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if people could tell how hard this is, but that scramble up was, yeah. I, I felt like I couldn't get a footing, right? Yeah. Like you, you had to almost like stabilize your foot with every move. Yeah. So it was like extra burn. Yeah. I was also saying earlier, I think it's possible he could have went through half a liter just coming up that 400 feet oh, yeah. at 120 degrees. That's another yeah. thing I felt. I felt at that kind of heat, you know? Would have been pretty savage. So it looks like Evan came down this wash here, right, uh, Jeff? And kind of went down this wash leading down this traverse? Yeah, I think he got off track and it crossed across the top of the mountains and then uh, just winds it around and gets down into the, the bigger wash out in the distance there. Got it. And then... Uh, so it's still pretty steep, so we're not going to go down here. We're going to cut an angle, right? Right. Good luck, Jeff. <laughs> so 
So Jeff, just to uh, make it later, so we're like three and a half miles from Clap Springs right now, right? Correct. That detour you showed me in a map, we didn't really travel that far, did we? Yeah, we really didn't. Um, theirs is a campsite, right. and this is where we're at, right, right here. Where the but let's put it in context, that detour was incredibly difficult. Yeah. Um, many ways that detour cost his life too, right? Yeah, that contributed to it. Right. It, I mean, it, just we felt it in our yeah. legs and uh, climbing it and then uh, just the struggle of even coming back down, downhill slope, it also affects your, you know, your body. And then factor in the temperature factor of it. And the water you know, reserves. And, and the water. Um, so we're heading down this way, I'm presuming, yes? Right. Just on the other side of that hill is one of the track. So we need to go to go to Clap Springs is, is this way. Bingo. And our wash our wash turned and headed east. <laughs> Got it. So uh, Alrighty. we're gonna go down here and see if we can get it back up there and, and up over that little ridge. Copy that. Follow you, boss. We're we're in the area where he came back. Um at, Came back, would you mean? On the on his return return hike back from Clap Springs. Got it. We're only probably a mile. From Clap Springs? No, from where he died. Where they found his Got body. it. So just like up and over there. Okay, so we're at another interesting location. This is where Jeff uh, took a picture of the famous uh, red bag, <laughs> the leader bag, and it was in this mountain here, right, Jeff? Yeah, straight, uh, ahead, of, straight up ahead of us, about uh, 100 feet down from the top. Interesting thing that I didn't know, Jeff, you didn't take the bag, you left it there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had, a, we had a discussion and it was just, just leave it there. Another interesting thing about Evan that he was traversing the top of this mountain coming down and heading down so he's always seems to be like on the tip of a mountain which is very dangerous very uh, slippery and it's kind of impressive we were talking about the agility right 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 program our GPS and take off Careful, Jeff. Slippery, bro. So, a little update. We are probably, I think, 1.9 miles away from Clap Strings. That big mountain there that looks like a thumb. What is it called, Jeff? Thumb Peak. Thumb Peak. It looks like a big thumb. Looks like slightly to the right, there's a wash bed there. And I think Clap is there. So, it's around 1.9. Still probably like maybe 45 minutes an hour away from it. So we're going to head back and uh, pick up some of the points that uh, we do have record of from his GPS and uh, get back by sundown so that... Um, we are safe. Yeah, we're safe and we don't have people looking for us. <laughs> we're now heading to the area where Evan died, so that's pretty close to base camp actually. So. Well, let's go that way. Uh, Jeff, at this point, he cannot read the GPS, right? Whatever the GPS signal is doing, this is where it maxes out for him, correct? This is where his mind doesn't doesn't understand it. It's just it may it may pick up bits and pieces, you know. Um, it may uh, the mind waves may connect, but then they don't connect. So it's not a, he can't just go, oh, I need to go there. He's, he's looking all over for it. That little hill that we just walked by. Right. Um, it's, it's the one that doesn't have the big rocks on it away. That was one part that he went up, or, or in that general area where he went up and then came back down. He's looking for his trail home, you know, back to the base camp. 
and uh, he can't find it. So he's going up here, and we're only a few hundred feet from um, from where he where they found him. So right when he's going there, basically the brain is shutting off. It's kind of going from mountain to mountain. Yeah, he's he's kind of hitting different high different points. high points yeah. around here. Evan can't figure it out, and it's we're very close to where he died now. Even in the last hours of his life, he he still had he still had that drive that a lot of people don't have. So we're very close to where Evan died, and uh, look at his view; it's so beautiful, you know. So you know, if you're gonna die, guess something beautiful and spiritual like here be the place and uh jeff is tracking and going to the exact uh coordination of where former middleweight ufc champion evan tanner passed away This, this is was it, right, Jeff? Heaven Tanner died. In this, somewhere in this area. Within this, within this kind of circle area here is where he died. The crazy thing about it is that the last ditch effort he must have did just to come up here, Jeff, is insane. Yeah, yeah this is. This is like almost unbelievable. Yeah. We're talking about pure, pure fumes. Like the shell is dead, but the spirit is alive, right, Jeff? Man, this is, this is crazy. Was you expecting something like this, or? No, I was thinking on that, like that last little yeah we had, where it was just a little rolling hill. And... So whatever was in the tank, he unloaded it. Yeah. Whatever was in Evan Tanner's tank, he unloaded it. Still, you can see Pali Verde. Too. Yeah, you can. You can still see Pali Verde. So I think. That answers one question that, you know, maybe he didn't see Pali Verde at uh, Clap Springs. The bottom line is he saw enough of Pali Verde yeah. during this hike to know that that place was an option. If it, if he couldn't if he couldn't hike there, that's not that's not the the issue. The issue is there was help there. Right. And it's it's populated. So. Right. Um, from how many miles from Clap Springs walk? Maybe another two miles, but probably better mileage, not like this, right? Uh, yeah, it's probably, I think it's, I think I looked it up, it was, um, close to five miles, five, right. six miles from Clap Springs to Palo Verde. But on an even kind of. Yeah, and then some of it's through farmland. Got it, so it could have been help, water. Yeah. Um, like I said, that was the first thing the deputies did was come up there. Right. To, to find it. Any other final thoughts on uh, Evan Tanner, uh, Jeff? I got a lot more respect for him than I than I did. Not that I didn't respect him. It's just going through all of this. There, there's. It's just amazing that he was still able to do it even on the last. Yeah. The last leg of his of his life. Well. Wow. He just fought it through, huh? Yeah, that's amazing. This is it, guys, the last place. Oh, right, oh, right, oh.